So a lot of times patients come to me with ultrasound report of gallbladder stones and uh, they want to know what would be the treatment. Uh, the detection and diagnosis of gallbladder stones has become very common uh, and this is mainly because of the preventive health checkups which include an ultrasonography and this the gallstone gets diagnosed even before the patient has developed pain. So in today's video we will try to understand what is gallbladder, what are gallbladder stones, uh, what are the main symptoms of gallbladder stones, how do we treat it and then what are the complications of gallbladder stones. So gallbladder is a small organ that is present just beneath the liver in the upper part of your abdomen on the right side. It uh, stores bile which is a digestive juice which is produced by the liver. Commonly I am asked why do gallbladder stones uh, happen. Uh, it is a very common misconception that the gallbladder stones happen due to drinking um, uh, faulty water or eating faulty food. So I would like to clear it uh, so that uh, in once and for all that the uh, gallbladder stones have not been related to the type of water you consume or the type of food you eat. So the real cause for gallbladder stone is uh, still a mystery. Scientists have not been able to find out why the gallbladder stones happen in the first place. But most commonly in 99% of the cases it is due to a defective gallbladder. The gallbladder as I said earlier has to store bile in a solution phase. But because of a dysfunction in the gallbladder it starts depositing this bile and there is sedimentation that happens which is followed by gallbladder stone formation. What are the common symptoms of uh, gallbladder stones? The most common symptom for gallbladder stone is pain. The pain uh, which is characteristic of a gallbladder stone is sudden in onset and it happens generally after a meal and it is moderate to severe in intensity. It may last for variable amount of time that may be about 30 minutes, maybe about 2 hours, 3 hours. Very rarely it ends up with a continuous abdominal pain and if a person has a gallbladder stone and ends up having continuous abdominal pain, it means that you have to visit your doctor as soon as possible because generally it indicates some or the other complication of the gallbladder stone. Complications we will be discussing subsequently. So the most common symptom is pain. Secondly, the patient can also have vomiting, fever, sometimes jaundice, backache, shoulder pain, neck pain, etc. So these are the mm, rarer presentations, but the most common presentation is uh, pain in the abdomen. Now uh, coming to the complications of gallbladder stones. So the complications of a gallbladder stone can happen in two scenarios when the stone is within the gallbladder and when one or few of the stones have slipped outside the gallbladder. So when the stone is within the gallbladder the complication mainly happens because of the stone getting stuck in the neck of the gallbladder and this causes an obstruction to the outflow of the gallbladder. resulting in distension of the gallbladder eventually leading to infection and the ultimate uh, consequence is perforation that is the gallbladder bursts inside the abdomen it's a very very serious complication of gallbladder stones in the other scenario is when the stones are very small let's say about three to four mm they have a tendency to slip out of the gallbladder into the common bile duct. So when this happens, the person experiences pain, fever, mild jaundice, itching, vomiting, sometimes backache. He can very soon become very sick and needs to be admitted for treatment. The worst complication of gallbladder stone is pancreatitis, which I would say has a direct risk to life. In the next video, uh, I'll be talking about the treatment of uh, gallbladder stones and the common myths that are involved around gallbladder stones and its treatment. Thank you.